What up everybody? Back again here with our negative number unit. Today we're going to be adding and subtracting integers crossing over zero. So let's dive under the water and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to add and subtract integers crossing over zero by making zero pairs on a number line. So we're taking our last two lessons, we're putting them together, and then we're going to take the next step of crossing over zero. Before we do that, though, we need to review an important skill that you're going to be using today, and that is number bonds, right? And so for number bonds, what we're doing is we are decomposing these numbers into different parts that make them up. So you could decompose 10 into a 2, and then a, another 2, and then a six, right? You could decompose it into ten ones. You could decompose it into two fives. There's lots of different ways to do it. You can also decompose negative numbers. So for negative seven, you could do negative four and then negative three, right? And so these two parts, when you add them together, would give you the whole of negative seven. Negative 14, you could do lots of different ways. You could do negative five, negative five, and then negative four, right? There we go, draw the arrows and the circles. And there's other ways you could do it as well, but it's going to be important that you have the skill of decomposing numbers and knowing that you can decompose positive and negative numbers. So let's take a look at conceptually what we're doing. This is going to go back to making zero pairs. Our first thing we need to do is we need to rewrite this as adding the opposite. So subtraction is dead for us right now, so we're going to add and then the opposite of 10 would be negative 10. And so we want to start at 4, right, and then we want to move to the left 10 units. Now this is where it gets tricky for some people when you're trying to do it in your head. This one might not be too bad, but you're going to have to cross over zero and go into the negative numbers. So one strategy that we do for this is we use our making zero pair strategy and we're going to decompose 10. So if you start at four, how much would you need to get back to zero, right? Well, obviously you would need negative four. So we're going to decompose negative 10 into negative four. And then the rest of that would be negative six. And so if we take negative four out of that to get back to zero, right? Now we've canceled these out. Now we're just left with negative six. So once you get to zero, it's pretty easy because zero minus six would just be negative six, right? And so my answer for four minus 10 or four plus negative 10 would be negative six. I took out my first negative four to get back to zero, made a zero pair. And then from there, my leftovers was six. And once you get to zero, it's really easy. So I decompose negative 10 into negative four, negative six. I use my making a zero strategy to help me find my answer. Let's take a look at the steps that we just did, name them, write them down in our notes, and that way we can use them. So step number one, decompose the second add-in to make a zero pair with the first add-in. Right, the first add-in is where you start. You're going to decompose the second one to make sure you get back to zero. Then you're going to get to zero, right? And then from there, you're going to go the rest of the way. It's pretty easy once you get to zero. Let's use these three steps in an I do problem. So here I have negative eight. That's where I'm going to start, right? There we go. And I want to add a positive 15 to that, which means I want to move to the right 15 spaces. I know that I'm going to have to go over zero. So in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, Let's decompose 15 to make a zero pair. Well, if you start with negative eight, that means you would need a positive eight to get back to zero. So if I decompose 15, that's gonna give me eight. And then the rest of 15 would be seven, right? So if I use my positive eight to get back to zero, there we go, here's my positive eight. I had to move eight to the right. I have now canceled these out, made a zero pair. And then my leftover is going to be seven. So I'm just going to go from zero and zero plus seven is seven. So my answer for negative eight plus 15 equals P. P is going to equal positive seven. Again, if you noticed, I followed my steps of decomposing this to make a zero pair with my first addend, get to zero, and then go the rest of the way. Let's do one together. Here we have negative six and we are subtracting a negative nine. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna rewrite this as adding the opposite. And again, the reason this works is because if you were adding negative nine, you'd be moving to the left on the number line. Well, you want to do the 
opposite, right? That subtraction sign or that negative sign can also mean the word opposite. So if you want to do the opposite of moving left on the number line nine units, well, the opposite of that would be to move to the right on the number line nine units. And the way you say move to the right is you add a positive. So really what you're doing is you are just adding the opposite but the reason that works is because the opposite of moving left on the number line nine units would be to move right on the number line nine units. So now we're gonna start at negative six. We're gonna be moving to the right nine units, which means we're gonna be making a zero. So I'm going to decompose this into a six, and then the rest of the nine would be three. I know that negative six and positive six make a zero pair, so that's gonna get me back to zero, and then that cancels out, and then the rest of the way would ju just be three. So when I add three to that, negative six minus negative nine equals Q. That means Q is going to equal positive three. Eventually you'll be able to do this part in your head possibly, but it's really important to show on the number line, especially as you're learning to do it, because it's building that conceptual knowledge of what's actually happening. Let's try u -try. All right, so here we have nine minus 15. Go ahead and pause the video. You can try it yourself and then push play to check your understanding. Hopefully you just paused it. If you're using your number line on your notes, you would have started at nine. I know I'm gonna be crossing over zero because I'm moving to the left 15 units. And I forgot I need to rewrite this as adding a opposite. Again, subtraction's dead for us right now. So we're going to add the opposite and the opposite of positive 15 would be negative 15. So when you're adding a negative, you're moving to the left on the number line, 15 units. So if I take negative 15 and I move nine back to zero, okay, that means I'm going to decompose negative nine and then the rest of that would be negative six. So now once I'm at zero, I can go the rest of the way and go to negative six and nine minus 15 equals Q means Q is going to be negative six. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options. Check out our negative number song and the rest of our negative number unit. We'd love for you to subscribe and join our Instructor Beats family and follow us on all the social media accounts. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.